the Pilbara region in Western Australia, a challenging and remote location with extreme climatic conditions. It's also the site of a world-scale iron ore operation that is significantly expanding and increasing its iron ore production to supply global demand. This expansion project creates one of the world's largest EPCM programs. It's a significant undertaking, both technically and logistically. To help meet these challenges, FLIR, along with their joint venture partner, were selected to provide program management, feasibility studies, engineering, procurement and construction management services. These services supported increased iron ore production capacity through the expansion of the mine, rail and port infrastructure. A great deal has already been achieved. FLIR and its joint venture partner have already delivered previous projects on time and on budget. The schedules were extremely aggressive and to provide function, schedule and cost certainty, FLIR looked at a modularized approach. FLIR has proven experience with major modular construction undertakings around the world. Despite the challenging weather and the remote location, FLIR successfully built and installed multi-billion dollar oil and gas facilities in Sakhalin Island in the far east of Russia. On the other side of the Pacific, FLIR completed the largest infrastructure project in California's history, Oakland Bay Bridge in San Francisco. In Australia, FLIR designed and fabricated 38 process plant modules, including coarse ore stockpile, tertiary crushing and screening structures. This approach brought several key benefits. Assembling the large modules in purpose-built fabrication yards allowed FLIR to limit the amount of construction activity and equipment needed on site and reduce the need for working at height. The end result was improved safety. At the same time as the modules were being built, civil and earthworks were able to be carried out. That brought a reduction in the schedule. Off-site fabrication and assembly of the modules allowed for centralized production, where equipment and materials were more readily available. That simplified logistics and led to higher productivity. By doing trial fits of the modules off-site, assembly conflicts were identified early. Without slowing on-site progress, corrective action could be taken to ensure that the modules would fit together at site without any problems. FLIR used a large skilled workforce to build the modules. At peak it was around 700 strong. Work was undertaken in a number of fabrication shops concurrently, allowing a streamlined construction and helping the project remain on schedule. Teams of inspectors and supervisors oversaw construction to ensure that all the yards maintain the highest quality standards. With stringent regulations on imported goods into Australia, FLIR's logistics department in Shanghai worked closely with the client, FLIR personnel in Australia and the fabricators' shippers. Before each shipment, they planned and coordinated packing materials, cleanliness of goods, customs clearances and inspections in Australia. Every vessel was fully loaded and changes in the loading sequence were carefully managed to keep the ship's weight and balance within limits. It was a colossal task. In all, 38 modules and numerous sub-assemblies were loaded at the Nantong port in China. The total weight was around 9,000 tons. After a seven to nine day sea voyage, the modules arrived in Western Australia. The next stage of their journey was by road, which brought fresh challenges. Fleur had needed to design and build these megastructures to conform with state regulations on public safety and environmental impact. Because of bridge load restrictions, the heaviest module was limited to 350 tons. Fleur worked closely with the local authorities to select the most appropriate route, and each consignment was escorted to avoid danger to the general public and other road traffic. Over 350 kilometers later, the journey was safely completed. And after months of hard work, all the modules were in place and ready to be commissioned. The design and construction teams in Australia and China had faced many tough challenges along the way, and they'd overcome them all. They'd completed the modules to function, cost, and above all, safety. For FLIR, this success highlighted the benefits of modular construction. 
they've shown that it's feasible even in remote and challenging locations. More than that, they've shown that it brings real benefits. It increases the certainty of schedule completion and it supports and facilitates downstream commissioning activities. The success supports the delivery of iron ore to markets around the world.